the same page, all on the same vision. And when you walk in there, we're halfway through. It looks finished, it's not anywhere. The committee, can I have you stand up just to show that you see how they are? There's young, there's middle-aged, and elderly, and they are all creative. Everyone had a responsibility since 2008, and five years before that, to follow everything. This is a gathering space which was half the size. The dome was 12 feet in diameter when we came in, the designs. There was a baldigan. The sanctuary was, I think, 20 feet by 20 feet. They had balconies that you couldn't see the altar. There's all kind of things. When you don't work as a team, and the laity doesn't participate in it, and their leadership, things happen because an architect really would like to say, tell me what you want, I'll make a set of drawings, and if you like it, then we'll start detailing it, and we'll go through those steps. A good architect, even engineers, even liturgical designers and artists, have to be able to have the experience to pull their ideas into the reality of the drawings and the construction specifications, and then even how to use it after. And has to train everyone. Even the contractors have to know why they're doing these things. This is why this was so well planned. It took at least eight to 10 years before we did the construction drawings for this space. And then it took about seven to 10 years to do the visiting. Okay. And we're not done. But when you see it, you see a beautiful harmony, this holistic environment, it speaks about Christ. Even the, the, the theme for the, for the church, long before I came, Lucille, who's the chairman and the committee, said, this is going to be the, uh, the Trinity through the cross. And if you pay attention, you'll see those that visual and not so visual symbolism all the work through. We've pulled the Holy Spirit, God the Father, the Son, and the Church, which is all of us, into this space. And that's why this can never end, because we are not finished with this vision. So now we can go in there, and I wanted you to know that it's not me, it's not the architect, it is really the people who make this happen. And they educated themselves, they invited people, they questioned everybody, <clears throat> okay, how can you help us, how can you help us? In every part of the theology, the liturgy, the architecture, the space formation, the relationships, the materials, everything they spent their lifetime doing. The people buy the vision. That vision is often their vision. It's for artists and architects and engineers and contractors to implement that vision. But if the vision is not clear, architects, artists, designers, contractors are from this change. We have to have a change of vision of everything in detail long before the teams. And then they were in turn. So that's the problem we have when you have money, right? This committee is a challenge. We'll get the money, but we have to educate them about what we're building, designing, if we want the theology in here, if we want the artwork. So the parish needs to do what we say is for long, long before we even did. Everything became life size cartoons that identify size, style, relationships, or all. You can see how we emphasize the, the idea of journey, the Eucharist, these are the symbols of the virtues. You take the seating in the balconies and the choir area, this is a very powerful space. It reminds you of the tra traditional church, and yet it's in a contemporary setting, meeting all the ministries because of the fact of the sacristy, there's walkways without any steps to the sanctuary was laid out over and over again. The committee and myself and the artists and other team members probably did a thousand drawings before we even interviewed an architect. One of the problems that's happening now, we have gone from, from design to bid to design to build to fixed cost. Where the architect, the contractor, the team are all working together to fit the budget. That's been the biggest problem on the diocesan level because they're also used. They 
the drawings and sort of both signed for the biggest signature because they're the last drawings and they put the finishes in and whatever. And there's usually never money left. Now it's required when there's nothing. We want to have real numbers. We want to have real people who gave their service, not a consultant, not an architect, not an estimator. We want to have real numbers. We have the least amount of change orders when we do design build. The least amount. But you can hear everything is really pretty well shut up all the way through. Constantly upgrade the channel. The dome was 12 feet wide. Architecturally, you can see we really don't have age old tradition of the dome of the Byzantine style contemporary almost in the style. From the structural points, we see the technology, 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 technology. They give us a huge win. That allows us to do a dome. The traditional dome you see is the condensers that hold the angels, the dome.